Hi everyone, this is a demonstration of my first method, my older method, of using different colors and sizes of fonts in Evernote. I've started this demo for Evernote note that I'm going to create a larger title in one color and then a smaller body of the document in another color. To do that, I'm going into my favorite colors note template and I'm going to select a font in the size and the color that I want to use. Over the years, I've ended up creating a lot of different templates with different colors and sizes of fonts and even highlights. I like this larger font in kind of this turquoise color, so I tap twice to get the whole word selected and then tap the word copy. I've now got that copied into my clipboard. And then I'm going to go back to my demonstration note, tap once to pull up the word paste. Tap on the word paste, and then both of those words, because they're run together, are going to be copied into that note. Then I need to tap once and move my cursor in between the two words just so that I can separate them and just get that one word. So I move the cursor in between and hit the Enter key and just create a little bit of space for myself by hitting the Enter key again. And then position my cursor next to the color that I've selected and the size and I begin typing the title to my document. I should mention that I'm using iOS 11 right now in its beta form because it's got this awesome new screen recorder. So I'm testing it out to do this screen recording for you. And it's a little buggy and it's also a little slow. So you're gonna see some kind of odd things like I had typed a capital S and it all of a sudden turned into a small s. That's just basically iOS 11 kind of bugs right now. So now that I have my sample title the way that I want it to be, I'm just going to get rid of the extra words that I pasted in there just to kind of use as my templates by selecting them, cutting them out, and then positioning the cursor right in front of the word sample and backspacing a bunch of times to get it to kind of align with the left margin. Next, I'm going to go back to my favorite colors template and I'm going to look for a font sample in a smaller size and a different color, just kind of for demonstration purposes, to use for the body of the text that I would be typing. This bottom block of the word flights in the largest size is the size that I used for my title or heading on the sample sheet. I'm inserting a screenshot here with the exact one that I used kind of encircled in red so you can see what I'm talking about. So for the body of my document, I'm going to select one of the smaller sizes and I'm going to pick a different color too, just for contrast. So I selected the smaller word flights in kind of this violet color. I copied that onto my clipboard and then I go back to my sample document or note my demo for Evernote note, and I'm just waiting for the sample that I did before to kind of populate and show up on the note. It's slow because of iOS 11. So now I've got my sample document back. I'm going to tap once to pull up the word paste, tap on the word paste to paste in the sample colored font that I'm going to use. And now I can begin typing the body of my document. I get rid of my sample word, place the cursor right in front of my sentence and backspace to get it to align up with the left margin, and I'm done. 
So that concludes my demonstration of my first and older method of using different sizes and colors of fonts in Evernote by creating a sample template that you then use to copy over individual words into notes that you're writing in the sizes and colors that you want. My next video is going to demonstrate a much easier method using the brand new Evernote 8. I wrote about it at the top of my post that describes this method, but people seem to keep missing it, so I decided to make a videotape too.